tried to get home and ended up in the airport for, I don't know, maybe 30 hours. It was chaos. A real mess for holiday travelers. Thousands of flights delayed and canceled nationwide. That includes at Salt Lake International Airport. There is a domino effect. It's one of the busiest travel days of the year at the airport today, impacted by wild weather all across the country. The roads are busy as well. Nearly a third of Americans will drive somewhere for the holidays. Daniel Woodruff joining us live tonight along I-15. And Daniel, what are you seeing out there tonight? Yeah, Heidi, here in Salt Lake County, it is really not bad. You look behind me, traffic moving well in both directions. Really, however you choose to travel, though, whether it's by car or plane or even train, there are plenty of potential problems that travelers this holiday have had to deal with. Utah Highway Patrol Trooper Jonathan Lopez on the road on one of the busiest travel days of the year. We see a lot more traffic. Drivers, he says, have been busy, too on their phones. We've been pulling over a lot of people lately uh, that are texting and driving. Um, we actually also caught someone that was FaceTiming. It's concerning as troopers try to help people get to their holiday destinations safely. They're also looking for speeders, people following too closely, and drunk drivers. Many people are choosing to fly this holiday weekend, but they're finding it's not easy, thanks to winter weather and frigid temperatures. That's chaos out there. Brandon and Taylor are back home after an exhausting journey from Wisconsin. We made it on the flight and then sat there for a couple hours, and then they told us to get off the flight for mechanical issues, and then immediately we reboarded the flight, and then we got off the flight again. In total, they spent 30 hours in the airport. I haven't slept in about 30 <laughs> hours, too, so yeah. What happened, you too? The Sanchez family is heading home to California after a few days in Park City. Their flight isn't canceled, but like so many others, it is delayed, although luckily, not terribly. I know the country, like in the East Coast, they're going through a blizzard, so I mean, 45 minutes is not that bad. So. And I checked the latest numbers in Salt Lake Airport alone, more than 200 flights delayed today, roughly 50 flights canceled. And for trains, Amtrak's California Zephyr travels through Utah, stopping in Salt Lake City and Provo and other places. I looked on there, that train today was delayed by hours. Live in Salt Lake County, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News. All right, Daniel, thank you. If you